The nation of Trinidad and Tobago, which consists of two islands and is located in the southern Caribbean, is frequently ignored. Trinidad and Tobago is a hidden treasure in the region that is largely undiscovered by tourists, in contrast to neighboring nations such as Jamaica and the Dominican Republic, which get millions of visitors each year. In this video, we will investigate everything that this incredibly diversified nation has to offer tourists, as well as the reasons why your next trip to the Caribbean should include a stop there. Climate and Geographical Features Tobago and Trinidad are the two primary islands that make up the nation of Trinidad and Tobago. Tobago is only a little more than 100 square miles, while Trinidad has an area of around 1980 square miles, making Trinidad the larger of the two islands. Due to its proximity to the coast of Venezuela, the climate is tropical throughout the entire year, with temperatures typically ranging from 75 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit on average. The islands go through wet and dry seasons, with June through December being the months with the most precipitation on average. The months of June through November are also considered to be hurricane season, although large storms rarely make landfall during this time. Activities available in Port of Spain The city of Port of Spain, which serves as the capital of Trinidad, is an excellent location from which to begin any trip to the islands. Some of the most popular attractions are as follows. Take a boat tour around the Gulf of Peria to witness breathtaking natural landscapes, including the magnificent Seven Waterfalls, which are located in the Northern Range Highlands. The National Museum and Art Gallery is located in a historic structure and presents the history and culture of Trinidad through artifacts and displays. The museum is also home to an art gallery. Botanical Gardens These lush gardens cover a total area of 40 acres and feature over 2,000 different plant types. The gardens' excellent walkways make them ideal for touring. Independence Square is the beating center of the city, and it is positioned close to the water, which is where the colorful carnival celebrations take place. Picnicking or playing sports in this expansive urban park, known as Queen's Park Savannah, affords visitors breathtaking vistas of the harbor below. Locations in Southern Trinidad After spending a few days in Port of Spain, rent a car and go south to discover the rest of Trinidad's rural areas. Among the most popular places to visit are, at the Asa Wright Nature Center, which is located in the forested area of the Northern Mountain Range, visitors can go birdwatching or on guided excursions to look for unusual tropical fauna. At the ancient Paramin Salt Pans, visitors may view beautiful flamingos feeding in the pink salt lakes while on a tour of the salt production facility. One of the most beautiful beaches on the island, Maracas Bay, features tranquil waters that are excellent for swimming, windsurfing, and simply taking it easy. Myro Beach is a peaceful length of sand that is bordered by coconut trees and is known for being an excellent location for viewing nesting sea turtles and enjoying fresh cuisine from the area. Take your time winding your way down this picturesque coastal road as you make your way to the southern main road and take in the spectacular views of the shore and the fishing communities along the route. Explore the world's largest natural source of asphalt, which is bubbling up from the surface of the earth at La Bray Pitch Lake. Tobago, the jewel in the crown. Tobago is a far more underrated tourist destination than its larger neighbor, Trinidad, which is home to a greater population. Despite its tiny size, Tobago is home to magnificent beaches and a verdant rainforest that are ideal for experiencing island life. A pristine stretch of white sand beach with calm waves, the Store Bay Local Nature Reserve is a wonderful place to swim and watch seagulls. Speyside Town is a picturesque fishing community that is characterized by its array of brightly colored buildings, as well as its shops and restaurants that specialize in serving fresh seafood. Pigeon Point Heritage Park offers visitors the opportunity to walk along beachside cliff trails while taking in breathtaking ocean vistas that extend all the way to Trinidad. Bukun Reef and Beach are two of the most distinctive beaches in the area. These beaches are encircled by mangroves and coral reefs, making them ideal for snorkeling. Hike up to picturesque vantage points all across the dense tropical forest with the assistance of a local guide at the Mate Irvine Bay Forest Reserve. Charlottenville is a small fishing village that has gained notoriety for the roadside food vendors that it hosts every Sunday. These shops sell roti, chicken, and various local fruits. The Carnival of Trinidad The Carnival of Trinidad is an unforgettable cultural extravaganza that entices visitors from all corners of the globe. Taking place annually in the vibrant months of February and March, this lively celebration is a testament to the island's rich heritage, vibrant creativity, and boundless spirit. Trinidad's Carnival is a dazzling display of colors, rhythms, and traditions that have been passed down through generations. It's a celebration of life, diversity, and the joy of simply being alive. The heart and soul of the festivities are found in the lively streets of Port of Spain, the capital city where the festivities reach their peak. At the core of Trinidad's Carnival are the exquisitely crafted costumes. These are not mere outfits but intricate works of art that tell stories, 
pay homage to cultural icons, or convey social and political messages. The crowning moments come with the coronation of the king and queen of the bands, where the most elaborate and impressive costumes are recognized and celebrated. These regal figures lead the parades, their costumes weighing as much as 100 pounds and adorned with feathers, sequins, and jewels. Dance is another essential element of the carnival. The infectious beats of soca, calypso, and steel pan music fill the air, compelling everyone to move to the rhythm. Spectators can join in the revelry or simply watch in awe as skilled dancers, known as masqueraders, perform intricate choreographies in their elaborate costumes. It's a sensory overload of music, movement, and dazzling visuals. As you wander through the lively streets, you'll encounter Javert celebrations, which are raucous and spirited pre-dawn street parties where participants cover themselves in colorful paint, mud, or oil. It's a symbol of shedding inhibitions and embracing the chaos of life, and it's an experience you won't forget. Trinidad's carnival is more than just a parade. It's a cultural phenomenon that unites people from all walks of life. It's a time when societal norms are temporarily set aside and people come together to celebrate their shared humanity. It's a testament to the island's rich cultural tapestry, blending African, Indian, European, and indigenous influences into a unique and vibrant spectacle. Whether you're a first-time visitor or a returning carnival enthusiast, the experience is nothing short of electrifying. It's a time when Trinidad opens its arms to the world, inviting everyone to share in its infectious joy and unbridled creativity. Cuisine The cuisine of Trinidad and Tobago is a fusion of regional specialties with influences from India, Africa, and the South American countries that are close. Make sure you try some of the classic dishes, such as Roti is a type of thin flatbread that is typically loaded with curries. Two fried flatbread, or baras, stuffed with chickpea mixture and served as a double. Oxtail, curry goat, or beef patties are examples of meats that are slow-cooked in flavorful curry sauces. The soup known as Kalaloo is a leafy green soup that also contains okra, pumpkin, and spices. Bacon shark is a dish consisting of marinated fish steaks cooked over coals. Tofu cubes braised in a tangy tomato sauce and served with roti. The majority of restaurants will offer pello or shrimp dishes, as well as accompaniments such as macaroni pie or festivals, as well as tropical juices and beers for beverages. Transportation Options Although taxis, minibuses, and public buses are all options for transportation in the major cities of Trinidad, renting a car is the most convenient method to get around the island. To get around the island of Tobago, most people take part in either organized excursions, hire taxis, or work with one of the many small local rental companies. There are public ferries that depart from Port of Spain multiple times per day to connect Trinidad and Tobago. Because vehicles in both countries travel on the left and the roads are in good repair, navigating either is not difficult. Where to go and when? The dry season, which runs from January to May, is the busiest time of year for tourism since it features generally sunny weather and little rainfall. Even though there are more scattered rain showers from June through December, the islands are still quite warm and humid throughout this time. Because February and March are the months in which carnival events take place, this may be the most festive time to visit, but it will also be the most congested. During the summer months, hotel rates are typically at their lowest. In Port of Spain, hotels such as the Hilton, Hyatt Marriott, and Radisson offer comfort on par with international standards close to the action. Try Beeston Hill Lodge in the Northern Mountains or Chacachacar Island Resort on the island for some local flavor and isolation, respectively. In Tobago, if you stay at the Glenbrook Beach Resort, the Grafton Beach Resort, or the Menti Irvine Hotel, you will be in close proximity to some of the best beaches. Try the Magdalena Grand Beach and Golf Resort or the Pirates Bay Resort if you are looking for an atmosphere. Villas and flats are usually the most cost-effective forms of housing. Trinidad and Tobago absolutely merits the reputation of being one of the Caribbean's undiscovered treasures. No other location in the Caribbean has such a genuine Caribbean experience just waiting to be uncovered as Cuba, with its colorful culture and history, magnificent landscapes to explore on two distinct islands, great cuisine, and carnival celebrations. Plan your trip to Trinidad and Tobago as soon as possible in order to experience a Caribbean vacation that is unlike any other and guaranteed to be one of the highlights of your life. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.